what is going on warriors it is your boy shin ryu and it is time for another street fighter 2 video pretty much if you guys have been following the x channel or you know twitter as it was formerly known or you guys may have seen a splash video that kind of popped up i believe it was yesterday i was going to discuss that before but i had to you know take care of obviously uh you know new family duties and my son and so we actually slept off while i was trying to get him to sleep and you know woke up in the middle of the night or at least you know around 3 a.m and stuff like that and I tried to do my dailies and stuff because i actually did not even do much yesterday at all missed a whole day of you know mission events and mission points but that's all good there we're pretty much here to discuss what was pretty much splashed on our screen on twitter and that was pretty much or x this is currently you known right now was the reveal of a new character for Street Fighter 6. The next, obviously, news that has been delivered since, you know, uh, the initial announcement. And, of course, it's been, obviously, you know, um, and especially as to which character was going to be the first to be displayed. However, this video, as you can see on the splash right now, showed Luke. And what actually came to mind, first of all, is pretty much the fact that they already have, like, the art style created for Luke. So I got thinking, do they already have, like, all the characters that are going to be unveiled in Street Fighter 6? Do they already have the art styles? Or is Luke the new character that we're going to expect? Okay? Obviously, we've already logged in now. If you're logged in already, you're going to have seen whoever it is right now. And obviously, it is actually Luke as well. This is pretty much his image in a remix version from the actual Street Fighter 6 cover. So if you guys have not seen Street Fighter 6 cover before, if you check it out, this pretty much his pose over there. And um, yeah, pretty much looks almost identical, but it, of course, with the art style that kind of blends it into the, you know, Street Fighter 2 sort of universe. So pretty much dope art and everything. However, you know, when it comes to this stuff, kind of stuff right now, this new collab, the first thing that kind of comes to mind is what style of collaboration is this, okay? Because this is pretty much an unprecedented style of collaboration. And the reason why I'm saying this is because it's going to fall under two categories, right? First of all, we know it is not like a super special event like the Turtles event or the Devil May Cry event, which if you notice ever since they sort of remixed that collaboration, they did provide their own style of tickets that was kind of different to the special summon tickets, okay? As you can see over here, this is the default special summon ticket. And the reason why I'm actually talking about this is because of the implication long term okay what i mean implication long term we're talking about is this character going to be treated like a crossover for example a goma gala can which you know even though he is ken from street fighter he is pretty much a mix between um monster hunter and street fighter so not a can that actually exists in the street fighter universe and of course we have you know the likes of the other special summon characters that you've actually seen under the draw that gets you pretty much alternate costume versions that may not be in the game okay so however we know that they are based on the street fighter 4 slash 5 i'm just gonna put four i'm gonna say four because it's strictly street fighter 4 that's what the main stuff is but we know that once you become available in the special summon they are here to stay so even if you don't have a single copy at all you can always take time and actually do it obviously we have the new modes where they are actually giving us two copies regardless you always have a copy and you can always eventually use chaotic starlight to sort of boost them up but in the case of this right now i am actually curious to see if this is an expansion because it doesn't just have the implication that you know what after the event is over the character sort of like remains or goes but it also gives us the impression that it is more or less like an actual expansion where you should actually also expect if not all the street fighter 6 characters eventually at least uh, a handful of them that either are important to the street fighter 6 universe or you know might actually get a return of some special characters like you know the ryu and all that kind of stuff okay so now first things first is obviously determining the kind of characters that are pretty much going to be super potentials uh i'm also going to release another video right after this as to what moves i think are going to be pretty much uh 
the preferred option moves just in my own opinion and i'm going to obviously give reasons to why i feel like these are the moves that would pretty much take more precedent than the other moves available in his move set but we're going to go right ahead and just quickly look at the character here under um the website itself and just go to the character screen okay so obviously you can see that there are several characters right now but the characters that pretty much would stand out in my opinion everyone knew luke was going to come because luke is obviously the poster boy they have tried to provide several poster boys in the universe just to sort of like bring you know attract new players and leave the likes of Ryu to we ogs but Ryu is one of the major, major characters out there, so he's always been impossible to kick off, which is kind of strange because almost every other video game, fighting games, you already have their main cast. You know, you're going to see for King of Fighters, it's always going to be, uh, I believe it's a Kyo or Ryu or whatever. Um, not Ryu, Kyo. Um, why is his name going off my head? But I know typically he and you know Iori are the two guys that pretty much are the main poster balls in front, uh, and they always stand stand the test of time. With Tekken, it's been a little bit different, but ever since uh Gene has actually come in, it's pretty much become a mainstay. However, with Street Fighter, you know they always try to bring new characters, sort of be take over Ryu for some reason, but it's never ever worked. But let's go back to the character that I feel like we actually have a strong chance of making it who are actually new because in my opinion, they are popular. Luke obviously is a character that, you know, they already started giving us a hint of being the new poster boy from Street Fighter V. So you can see he's the main character here. So he was always going to make it. And as you can see already, it was a no brand that made him the first character in the game. Another character that, in my opinion, that actually has a strong chance of making it is going to be, um, I don't even want to say Jaime or Jamie, but he's supposed to be like the Ken of the Street Fighter 6 verse. So, you know, if the Ryu, which is uh, Luke, you know, when I mean Ryu, I mean like the main character and the sporting main character is, um, you know, uh, Luke popping up, then there's a strong chance that Jamie or Jaime, you know, is he, where is he from? He's actually, I think he's Asian, so I would probably say Jamie would be a better bet than Jaime because I don't think it's like uh, South American. So I'm not going to use Jaime in that case. I'm just going to call him Jamie. Jamie is the other person who's probably going to be the, you know, the next. But in terms of popularity, there are some characters that have a stronger bets than Jamie to actually pop up. One of such characters right now is going to be... Where are you? I don't want to jump there. I want to see Rashid. So this is the one character who actually has a strong chance because obviously he's in Street Fighter V, right? That's where he made his debut. And this is obviously a strong... And the fact that we have Rashid, this is Street Fighter V, and the Street Fighter VI character is a strong way to sort of like bridge the gap between the characters that are missing Street Fighter V because obviously there's a reason why they may have skipped Street Fighter V is that most of the Street Fighter V characters are probably going to be in Street Fighter VI so it's a stronger bet to actually jump straight to Street Fighter VI that way you can actually cover everyone and not feel like you're missing a character and Rashid is going to be treated like Rashid, right? So Rush, in my opinion, is someone who's going to have a stronger bet. And also, Luca actually has that advantage, like I mentioned before. He was Street Fighter V character. That he was pretty much the last character that came out of Street Fighter V. And he's now in Street Fighter VI. So, as a main face, uh, with, along with Ryu, obviously. So, he's already there. He was a no-brainer. I think Rush is going to have a stronger chance. Another person will, I think, um, would pop up as well is... Ed. Okay, now Ed is a little bit tricky in that he has he had um what you call an overhauled look. Like his look kind of like totally changed, but he has the basic standard, you know, long hair that kind of covers half of his face and you know, a look, except that he was kind of dressed like bison in a way, like almost like a bison that kind of works. You know, and you know. Uh, and like, you know, uh, like a bison gigolo version or whatever, but, you know, now he looks a bit more like his own character, like some, um, you know, vagabond that just moves from street to street, but, you know, still well-dressed or that kind of stuff, or like a fighter, right? You know, but 
pretty much, you know, this might, it's going to be the one that's going to pop up, if any. So I'm given more, you know, um, chances to characters who are both in Street Fighter 5 and 6 to actually be the ones that will sort of like make it. However, as you guys know, they're probably going to want to toss a female in there as well. And if you don't want to put a female amongst them, all right, and this is not just because you want to just fill up. <laughs> excuse me, characters, but because, obviously, these females are pretty much maybe well suited for the mechanics of Street Fighter, it's going to be, in my opinion, out of all of them, I'm going to give one person, one person, out of all the females, I'm going to give it to Marissa. I think she is the most popular of all the girls there. She's also pretty huge. And there has been no proper tank female, if you guys can get They tried to give it to Makoto at first, but no, none of none of them have been able to like pull it off yet. It's kind of tough to just fight the small frame. Most of these fighter ladies have a small frame. She defied that odds. And she's someone who's actually also popular in the Street verse, you know, very strong, but still very feminine, you know, there's something about her that I like in that, you know, you can see that she's has got tons of muscle, but she's still, in my opinion, is a sexy looking character, so, you know, someone that you can actually put there as well, excuse me for the cough, dry throat, um, from time, obviously, timing, but yeah, this is someone I actually want to give, but after that, the last person I'm going to give a chance of actually showing up if this is not an expansion or if they're just not looking to push too much would be JP, okay? Uh, JP pretty much, I believe, is supposed to be the current boss in the game, I think. You know, I still haven't purchased Friday 6 yet. Only have the demo and of course occasional followings of the videos of fights that I may actually run across whenever a new character pops up or turns out a character. But pretty much this is the other guy that pretty much you can expect to come in as well. And you can expect these guys to be one of the new guys who might want to probably become some sort of matter when it comes up. Alright, so uh he's probably gonna take his time to show up in the game. However, let's go back into the game itself if they end up screwing this up i'm making this just like a one-off sort of collaboration where they're just going to just put one character in there with all they had that kind of put behind it that would be extremely disappointing so i like to believe that this might be treated as an expansion we will definitely know in i believe in six days but i've gone through any sort of like hints the only place i actually haven't gone through yet honestly is i haven't checked the notice yet there should have been new information only information I've been putting yet. Most of the time, they might put it during the day, okay? Or it could actually be just the next day or whatever. But right now, no official word on Luke, you know, to let us know what kind of, you know, expectations we have with regards to the character when it comes to pulling for him, okay? Because, like I said before, the implication of him being a permanent stay will give us a lot of hope that there more characters are going to be coming in if he's just got like a temporary stop gap that you know yeah that would just be unfortunate otherwise guys that's pretty much my view on luke crashing into the street fighter verse of oh, not rest not crashing to red fire return and the street fighter dual verse okay coming from street fighter 6 the first and quite rightly show so i don't think anyone else would have thought Someone else would pop out first. It was always going to be Luke, in my opinion. Or oh, I haven't obviously had more time to discuss as much as the first time was actually unveiled. But hopefully you guys actually enjoyed the video. And if you do, please make sure you smash a like on the video. And please, if you have not turned on the notification bell, you can always do that. And if you're not subscribed to the channel as well, what are you waiting for, guys? I know obviously the videos are slowly, haven't been as back to back as they used to be in the past, but trust me, they're going to be getting there sooner. Babies get a little bit more used to the world. Uh, we're already having a bit more of a routine now, so uh, it seems it's time to get stable a little bit more. Otherwise, guys, it's been your boy, Shin you. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one soon. Peace.